finds an empty house, decides to spend his night there. He puts fire on and falls asleep. At midnight, a woman and her daughter get into the house. It's her house. She starts beating him with a ball bat. She doesn't even let him get his bag and supplies. He gets onto the road again, finds abandoned vehicles, finds water in a car. He finds a radio, a Jeep approaches. He hides behind a car. There are three men. They step down and kill undeads in those vehicles, but they kill an alive man as well. There's a clink on the radio which attracts them. Nick runs down the road and gets really far enough from them. To satisfy his thirst, he wears off his shirt to hold a cactus, breaks it and tries to drink its juice, but it doesn't help. He falls asleep, backing a rubble of a vehicle. He is dreaming about his time with Gloria at rehab and when he lost his dad in an accident and how Gloria took care of him. When he wakes up, there are two dogs at him. They attack him and bite his leg. He gets up onto the vehicle rubble. There's a herd of incoming undeads. They eat the dogs. Nick gets down and eats some of the flesh left by the undeads to survive. He takes a belt from the pant of an undead and tightens it on his bitten leg. He travels among them. When they get on the road, that same Jeep with three men arrives. They shoot many undeads. Nick, without fearing their bullets and shots, keeps going. One of them recognizes him and becomes static. His bullets fall. While he retrieves them, the undead get him and his other partner. The third one of them runs away in the Jeep. The undeads left their bones in mind. Next morning, a group of three people recognize that Nick is human while he's traveling among them. Their leader, Luciana, denies to help him and they leave. He falls down on the road and falls asleep as night descends. He dreams about the church, the night before it all started, when he and Gloria were together, happy and in love. He's dying of thirst. It gets night and it rains, which helps him survive. He is still lost in memories of Gloria. When he gets up, he is now 40 miles from Tijuana and is in a town. He gets to a pharmacy but finds nothing. He finds a tap in a shop, takes it, and bandages his leg. While he's taking care of it, Luciana arrives with her two men. Him if he's bitten. He tells them that it's dogs that have bitten him. They take him along and get to a man who is probably a doctor. He takes care of his leg and bandages it to avoid infection. When he gets out of the clinic, he sees that it's a big community of survivors with man-made walls behind a hill and a little far from town.